Hey everybody, happy Friday. It is our day to bring you the latest news from Charlton Middle School. I've been looking all around, but I can't find my good friend and trusted partner, hey, Mr. Hey, Mr. Olsen. Packer, how are you? Hey. I, I just got back. I was out back in the boiler room. I turned on the heat so we okay. can warm this building up it's for a, all the students to come in. It's about time. So we've got fluctuations of heat going on right now, and the building is nice and warm, and we are excited to begin to think about hybrid next week. I can't wait. Um, speaking of hybrid, just so you know, in the uh, news and notes below here, um, in the links, the hybrid schedules have been updated a little bit, a uh, little time adjustments because we did have some overlaps. On the second part of that, we do want you to know that in regards to the mass breaks throughout the day, we have a kind of a set time in there, but the teachers are allowed to fluctuate with that a little bit so we don't have all the students moving at the same time. That's just kind of letting you know that we are going to have a mass break throughout our school day. Um, and we've got that written down below, so when you read that, you're going to understand that. Absolutely. Hey, let's talk a little bit about this migration now that's going to take place on next Thursday when Cohort B starts in hybrid. Uh, we're going to have a homeroom session, and the homeroom session is set up for all students. Whether you're in remote, face-to-face, -face, we're going to set up a time to structure the day for students so they can hear their announcements, the Pledge of Allegiance, and what the theme of the day is going to be all about. Absolutely, but it's very important that you know that time is moving to a little earlier. That time, because of the face-to-face, -face, will be at 7.40 in the morning. So rise and shine. you got to get up in the morning, students, okay? A little bit earlier, but we're going to make it as real as we possibly can to what a real day would be looking like. Right. Some students at that point in time who are at home will go to Unified Arts. Others will do some asynchronous learning. But it's going to start your day off the way we, we always do, and it's so important that we do that because it will set the tone for success. Hey, talk for a minute about arrivals and dismissals. We have that below as well, but talk about that if you would, Mr. Olson. And we're going to be reviewing this with the students early next week. We're going to set up some Google Meets with them. Um, the arrival, the buses, we are going to have four bus stops as students come into the building. We're going to have a bus stop in the front near the A-wing where the sixth grade will get out and just walk straight down their car to the homeroom, one in the back on the A-wing for fifth grade, and so on. We'll have 7th and then 8th will be our last stop. So each grade level will be entering by a separate door. What you need to know is we're really spacing it out so we can really minimize the flow of traffic so we can make sure we're staying safe. That's the biggest part of this. And if you look below, one of the buttons will tell you and articulate exactly what we're talking yes, about. Yes, there will be staff at every door to assist the kids and main maintain the social distancing. Drop-offs will happen in front of the building and we'll direct them to the entrance based off their grade level where they need to go. Once again, we're just asking you all to be patient with us as we make this happen. Again, it's taken some time to get used to the remote learning and now we're pivoting. And we know when you pivot, what happens, there's anxiety and there's some change. We're gonna be here to support kids first and families. That's the single most important thing. The rest of everything will fall into place. I know that, I have great confidence that it will. Yes, that first drop off may take a little longer for the first couple of days while we get in the flow. So that patience is so important. But we'll get there. We're excited and we can't wait for next Thursday. But more importantly, we've got a long weekend coming up. Well, we got to talk about dismissal though too. Dismissal first. Dismissal. The buses are going to line up in front, except instead of having all the buses dismissed at once, because boy, that'd be a lot of people coming out of the building at one time. We're going to line up uh, five buses in front of the school and we're going to announce the buses that will be dismissed at that time. Just to slow the traffic. Those buses will go, another set will come in. We're asking the parents to line up behind the buses for pickup, and the pickup students will be socially distanced in the auditorium, and we're gonna radio them out. But once again, if you look below, there is a tab. Click on the tab, it'll actually tell you everything we just talked about. So I know that was quite kind of a quick version, but again, we like to give you the face-to-face -face time. We want you to know that we care about everybody. We want to make families and kids feel comfortable, and we're going to make this work. I am super excited about it. How about you? I'm, I can't wait to see the students walking through these doors next Thursday. Cannot wait. Um, we've had a little taste with our cohort D here, and now to amp it up one little bit more. Oh, I'm excited. But I'll tell you what, in the meantime, if you guys have any questions, please reach out directly to us. We know that this is an anxious time for you as parents as well, but together we are strong. Together we're going to stay positive and we're going to do all the things that we're supposed to do. Thank you so much. Again, reach out to us if you have any questions. I hope they all enjoy a long weekend, a three-day weekend. You've earned it. Absolutely.